Liberia was founded by a group in America called the American Colonization Society. The ACS supported the abolitionist movement and in particular believed that Africans should be returned to Africa. They thought Africans could spread Christianity in Africa, which tied into the American belief of manifest destiny. Many whites saw the movement as a way to incorrect the past injustices they had done, such as slavery. Some were threatened by the existence of free blacks, also called recaptives, and wanted to remove them from the country. Another group believed that only in Africa could blacks realize their true potential. All these things combined when leaders of the ACS went to Africa and bought a strip of land that they named Liberia, land of the free. Liberia became a temporary shelter for recaptives, and eventually 60% of the population were freed slaves. However, from its founding, there have been tensions between the natives and those from and descended from African Americans. President William Tubman, elected in 1944, has long held a vision of African unity. In 1959, he held the Senequeli Conference with other African nations to discuss problems, seek peaceful solutions, and improve relations. Liberia wants to completely decolonize Africa and increase relations among African nations. Liberians have strong ties to the United States and can use those connections to form lucrative trade routes over the Atlantic Ocean. President Tubman has been to the White House before, and several U.S. presidents have come to Liberia to visit Tubman. Liberia can aid the OAU in many different ways. As mentioned before, Tubman envisions a united Africa and will aid in disputes to help mend relations between other African nations. Liberia sits on the Grain Coast, which can provide food exports to other nations in need, especially Saharan neighbors. Liberia also has access to Atlantic ports, which will open maritime trade with the rest of Africa, Europe, and the Americans. Liberia also has mines of diamond, gold, iron ore, and other luxury minerals. Liberia exports large amounts of rubber and timber and produces ships used for transportation of people and goods. Also, Liberia has a growing tourism industry, which strengthens and diversifies the economy. The OAU will be able to help Liberia obtain a stable economy and raise the standard of living. Tubman's open-door policy can be spread to other African nations interested in establishing businesses inside Liberia. Liberia is also at a lack of infrastructure, and the OAU could help fund internal improvements and public works. The OAU can also facilitate free trade agreements, which will better connect African countries and strengthen Liberia's economy. In addition, a lack of viable markets have stunted economic growth, and the OAU can connect domestic goods with foreign markets. In conclusion, we believe that Liberia would benefit from being a part of the OAU, and that the OAU will benefit from having Liberia in it.